Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the Squarespace website designer for travel photographers. I've had some requests about looking at the mobile navigation on a bunch of templates. So on several templates, um, especially in the Brian family, you have this uh, front page where you can see the navigation like as over top of the picture. But when you go into mobile, it turns to white so you can't see you know, it's not over top of the picture, it's on like a white background. Um, and I've had some requests about, well, how do I make it so I can see the background through it? I want it to look, you know, just like this on a smaller scale. Um, there's, as far as I know, there's not an option to do that on any of the Brine templates. So any anything in the Brine family, I have not found a way to do that in your site styles. So if you go to design, site styles, and click on the mobile navigation, there is a way to change the background here, the top mobile top background to transparent. So if you slide this along, it will make it transparent. However, the picture is below the navigation bar. So there's, even though this is transparent, you can't actually see anything through it. So you can see that it does change. You can change the color um, but because there's nothing behind it, um, then it, uh, there's nothing to see through it. Um, so if you have a brine, a template in the brine family, you can't do it this way. Um, so my first suggestion, if that's a feature that you really want, my first suggestion is to use a template that has that as a feature already built in. So there's Forte, Pacific, Tremont, The Fault and Cycle. There's a bunch of templates that already have that feature built in. They're not in the Brine family, um, but if that's something you really, really want, then that's the easiest and most efficient way to have that feature. I have uh, found a coding workaround. Um, however, it is a little bit finicky, so this is sort of like, you know, a second best option um, that I have found works for me if, you know, a client really wants that but wants a template in the Brian family. Then I go to um, design custom CSS and in this window you're just going to copy and paste the code below this video and you can see that you can now see the um, header through, you can see the picture through the navigation um, you will want to go into your sites and styles and change the wording there. Um, I would change it to white in this case um, so that it matches the rest of the branding. Um, but that is the way you can see the picture through. Why I say this is not the greatest option is because I have not found a way to have this go site wide. So um, this essentially only works on a very specific type of page. So if we go to our home here, select, select pages. This only works for pages that are set up as an index page with pages underneath, um, like the regular content pages underneath. So you'll notice it works for home and for about because it has an index page with these pages underneath. But the gallery page, even though it's an index page, it doesn't have this underneath, um, so it, it doesn't work. Um, it still has the white on top and for things like the blog um, it wouldn't work um, because it's not or even the contact page um, it's not going to work you can't really tell here because it's white but it only works for pages that have a very specific uh, class name to them so if we go into design again custom CSS you'll notice I what I've done in this coding here is I said okay I want you to call um, all of the first index pages that have an image um, because that's what that first banner will always have this sort of class in it um, for the the Brian template families um, but it doesn't work it doesn't have that for the other ones so there's no way to do that site-wide which is why this is sort of a second second best option so again my first suggestion find a template that already has that feature built in if you're already set up in a template, let's say in the Brian family, and you really want that to work, you're welcome to use this code, but know that you'll have to set up all of your um, pages to have you know, that index and then the page underneath. 
Um, in any other cases, you would have to use a specialized code to apply this to that specific page for every instance that is not, doesn't work under this umbrella.